For this SN1 lab, you will be using a graduated 10 mil pipette. This one is a TD to delivery. And the error on this is 0 0.06 mils. Additionally, you'll be using a graduated 1 mil TD. The error on this is 0 0.02 mils. You'll be using a volumetric pipette, 3 mils. Another TD. And the error on this one is 0 0.01 mils. And finally, you'll be using a TD 2 mil volumetric pipette. And again, the error on that is 0 0.01 mils. Yeah, that's all right. So you put it in the first one? Mm -hmm. All right, so this is the first set, right? Is this the room temperature set? Yeah. All right. Just so my viewers know, you guys are doing the first set of the SM1 reaction. And you're using three mils of? Of the two chloro, two methyl propane solution. Okay. And then he's pipetting the base? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You want me to look at the water? Yes. And then you need the indicator, right? Yep. Bromophenol blue, right? Mm -hmm. Let me bring it in a beaker. Okay. I think I gave them all enough Erlenmeyer flasks. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> We're okay. So what were you guys going to observe? Well, it's supposed to change to a green yellow once it finishes. Because? And we have to record that time. Because that's when it gets to a quarter, no, a tenth of... Um, so what's being exhausted at that point? So why is, why is the pH indicator changing? All right, what's that? An AOH. All right, the base. Yes. The base is being exhausted. Kind of have to talk out loud for the for the video. That's kind of okay. what I'm trying to get is. I want them to understand why we're going to see it go from blue to green. Because I have people who are going to be gone um, for the two weeks because of COVID. So yeah. don't ever turn those upside down. <laughs> what will happen? It might go into it. Yeah, it'll go into the pipe better. Something to always think in your mind. Never. Never. Same with the ones when you use the little rubbers on the, the disposable glass ones. Never improve. It's like next semester there'll be a lab where you guys use the, the disposable glass with the rubber stoppers. If you invert that and it gets into those rubber stoppers, they're trash. Just eats them up. They're just latex. Unfortunately for you guys, you got somebody sitting right on top of that. I'm going to move over there. I'm going to get between you guys. So. When he says check the chun, we just check it directly from here? Or do we have to actually put it in there? You know, that... Those solutions have been in the room for a while. They're going to be whatever the room is right now. Okay. Theoretically, you'd want to check the solution, but I guarantee they're going to be no different than whatever the ambient air is. 
It is pretty much exactly. Don't ever touch the bottom with your hand. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. What a nitpicky film guy, huh? That's fun. Because your body temperature will make it go yeah. up. Yeah. So it looks like it's exactly at 24. That's what I see. I think I agree with you. 24 degrees C. <laughs> I was telling the camera. Uh, makes sense. Get through these, this first set and I'm going to go away. But you come and get me before you guys leave so I can see your data. Okay. So they can see everything you had. They don't have to see you do this uh, four different times. Okay. So, so who's gonna time and who's gonna call the color? Okay. You want the time? Okay. Yes. <laughs> right. Um supposed to put it on top of white so that you can see it better. Okay. Okay. I keep saying one of these days I'm gonna film my ride home. Your ride home? Yeah. Bicycle ride. So far I've had a kid learning to drive below the stop sign at 15th and Elm. And another guy cut too sharp and almost take my front wheel off and then yell at me because he said my headlight was too bright. Headlight on your bike? Yeah, yeah. My, my... I was like, okay. I have to be a lot nicer on my bicycle because they can outrun yeah. me. Yes. They can run you over. Yes. <laughs> Disregard all this on the video. <laughs> so whatever your color is that you're calling, you want to be consistent, right? I thought this was going to go a lot faster. <laughs> you know, I wish I knew this tripod existed when I was trying to do those labs last year. Did we have it? Yeah, it was here. I just didn't even realize what it was in the box. What's that funny tube looking thing? Does it seal up like a little tube looking thing? Yeah. yeah. It'll drop down and everything folds up. Hmm. I'd say it just changed. And so whoever's the caller. Where's the yellow collar? Call it the same place every time. Okay. Yeah. okay. I'm going to stop that for a minute. And then I'm, I'm, I'll restart it when you guys actually mix them next time. Because they've got to see you pipe at once. It's kind of redundant to watch you guys do that like, you know, 12 times. Yeah. So I'll just watch you do the, the, the stir three times. And then I'll come back again and get your data. Okay. You already mixed them together?
So the final data for A at room temp. B get your doors cleaned at mildly cooler temperatures with a little bit of ice or tap water that was cooler. C is in warmer water. And D is a change of concentrations.